What you doing, man? Hey, that I just finished that last job, and the pump is pulsating um, while it's sitting idle. Can you take a look at it? Yeah, man. Let's uh, let's go to my house. Okay. All right, so I was out on a run, and thank goodness because I was tired, but Matt needs some help with this pump, so we are gonna go take a look at it right now. So this pump is pulsating, and we are gonna uh, open it up and check out the check valve, so bring you guys along for that. All right, Max, so you say the pump is pulsating? Yes. All right, and it's every time you got, you're pulling the trigger, right? Uh, when I'm, it's idle. Okay, so we've already checked the We've already checked the water filter and that is clear. There are no leaks anywhere and that's one thing that can cause cavitation. So what I am thinking is it's probably the check valves. I'm gonna pop these off and check the check valves. Anytime debris gets in there, it can, it can stop it from functioning properly and that will cause pulsation. And typically it's from the top ones. Those are the high pressure valves as opposed to the low pressure where the water comes in. And yeah, the pump is nasty. That's not my fault though. Whose fault? I'm just waiting for it to get fixed so I can start cleaning That's it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's got lower pressure, and you can see, I don't know if you can actually see that or not on video, but these hoses are jumping. So this particular one is a 30 millimeter socket. Oh, and these things are on there good. So it's always nice to have the right tools. Obviously, we loosen them up with the breaker bar, and then we will take these things right off with the impact. So we've got all of these out. So like I was saying, a lot of times, if you have debris in your tank, it can sometimes get through the filter and clog up these check valves. There is nothing visibly wrong with this one. There's one trick, put it up here. You blow on them. And if there's resistance, that means it's good. So just a little trick. So that one is good. Nothing visibly wrong on this one either. That one is good too. They all seem to be good. The problem that I just discovered and the culprit, a bad O-ring. And it appears Yep, that is exactly what it is. It's a bad O-ring. So we are going to have to grab some O-rings and put them on there and we will be good to go. All right, and we're lucky because I actually had these in my garage. So that should make it a lot easier. Obviously we do not need to use these new brand new check valves, but I am going to use the O-rings from this kit because these check valves are still good. So these will go right on there. I'm going to turn this off, this water. Make sure that there are no remnants of the O-rings down in there, because if there are, it will cause problems. We are going to pop that bad boy right back down in there, and you will feel it seat nice and secure. Now, I'm actually blown away that all three of these had no O-rings, which is very surprising, unusual. It's usually just one, or at least it's one when we catch it. You feel that thing seat in there. And then also these plugs are basically centering tools as well. And so as it seats on there and presses in, uh, it makes sure it goes down perfectly. The last 
one. All right, so we are gonna button this thing up, crank her on, and see what kind of difference it makes. I don't want to use the impact to tighten these all the way. That can potentially cause problems. It's brass, it's very soft, and it can strip them pretty easily. And while you can get replacement heads for these pumps, it's the last thing that you want to deal with. <clears throat> Alrighty, so let's crank her up. Can you tell the difference? Oh yeah, it's back to normal. Good, no cavitation, it's not jumping. The hoses are not jumping anymore. So that was the problem. All right, guys, so as you saw, that is a pretty simple fix. Something that pretty much anybody can do with the right tools, common tools, a little bit of know-how that you just got here, and you don't have to be a mechanic, you don't have to be an engineer, you don't have to pay somebody to fix stuff like that. If you run into problems with cavitation, pulsation, check your filter first, then check the check valves, make sure that the O-rings are in place, and you should be good to go. It's probably a good idea to have a backup set of O-rings and check valves just in case this happens. You don't wanna lose any time out there working. Hopefully this helped. If you got a question, leave a comment below. Hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. Hopefully we're adding some value. And if you wanna be notified anytime we drop new videos, that's how you do it. Hit that subscribe button. But more importantly, have a great day.